our place used to be a horse property and right here used to be a horse arena before after And a few months ago, we planted all the pumpkins. I also built this thing, which is a portable, movable rain tower. It's on skids. And in just three short days of rain, we filled up both of these 55 gallon barrels. It's coming down now. I need to fill up those rain barrels. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but hopefully it's enough to fill them up. There's the rain. It's watering all the pumpkins. Here we go, we have something. There's another one. We have squashes, pumpkins, watermelons. This is how I like to garden. Just throw the seeds and then forget about it and then come back when they're ready and then it's a big Easter egg hunt. There's a watermelon. The rain goes in this one and then overflows into this one and this one's filled up just about to the top. I that one's it, ready? I, don't, I think it's ready. I just lifted it and it came right off. I don't know if it belongs to this vine. There's so many vines everywhere. This is not enough pressure to water this whole garden. But in today's world, they have things now like water pumps that are battery operated. This is a Milwaukee pump and then this battery, it's the same battery you would use for a drill gun. Pop that in, close that. First time using this pump. So together, we'll see if this works. It needs a hose on this end. And then we're going to put another hose on this other end. And then it should push this water out so we can water our garden. You know, I'm always thinking something dual purpose. I figure if this is more movable, I didn't want something so permanent because this is a movable structure. And I can move this pump and use it for something else. Like I could use it to fill up 100 gallons or something, or our pig water, I could use it to fill up that. This is an extra hose. We'll turn this on. Turn this end on. There's a button here for on. We got water. Now I'm gonna grab the hose that's coming all the way down from our barn. You're probably talking about 300 feet, I'm guessing, from here to the barn. I just turned this on and it takes a little bit. It takes a little bit to travel all the way over here because it has to go down and then it has to go back up. There we go. Let's turn this on again. Wow. <laughs> All right, so this one's coming from the well. <laughs> Great. We have pressure. So we're watering our pumpkin patch with this trickle here. <laughs> the struggle is real. It works. I mean, look at it. It goes all the way out here, halfway through the garden. Amazing. We have reached 
the future. I wonder how fast we'll run out of water. I know. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I picture that these tanks are going to run out of water quick. I'm assuming you can't get a kink in this thing. You kind of want the water flowing. Have it flow and come out. Don't don't run this dry. As long as the waters keep keep coming. We should see how much water is left after we're done. We haven't had rain for about a week. So definitely we needed some water out here so we could continue growing all this. Try the nozzle. Ready? Yeah. Oh wow. That's even better. That's fantastic. Let's turn this off. I just want to see how much water we used in that. We didn't have it on very long. Yeah, we probably used, I think it was right about here we started, and we used maybe about that much. What about the other tank? The other tank we didn't use, we just used this tank. Oh, okay. So just right there. Cool, that's not bad. Like a couple inches of water. That's pretty good. <laughs> So this plant has been affected by the vine borer squash. It's a moth and what the moth will do is lay its egg here at the base of the plant and then uh, when the larva hatches out of the egg she'll just go through and, and just eat the squash until it dies and then crawl out and bury itself in the soil and then emerge out I think I believe next year to eat all the rest of the squash for next year. I want to take this plant out in case there's still more larva inside there and destroy it. So, I want to say I saw the larva earlier but I can't find it now. That's not to say it's not still in here. See if, hopefully we'll find one. I kept on thinking this whole time that these plants were growing that eventually uh, they're not they're gonna get to a certain point and then they're just gonna die because the bad soil that we had, but then we brought in yeah. some of that really good organic soil, and I really think that was the reason. I see any more larva. This is where it was, you could tell. It just kills the plant instantly. You could tell this is where it burrowed in, and I don't see it. I mean, the whole plant is just disintegrating. There was a fat little larva, but then it crawled away. Yeah, this is why you plant more than what you need. <laughs> Way more than what you need because... Oh, there it is right here. I found them. You found them? Yeah. So see that here? I believe that's... There's like a couple of them here. I don't know what those are. <laughs> but I believe that's the larva. I'm just going to scoop them out and... Well, there's a couple of larva in here. I'm not sure if they're all part of that or if they're just maggots. We probably watered in about 10 or 15 minutes uh, and we still have a full charge on the battery. I could have got a cheaper water pump with maybe a battery operated one, uh, like a car battery. You hook that up, maybe a solar, but um, I like how this one is just movable. That pump is not meant for what I just used it for. It's really meant for draining, like say a water heater in your house, like for plumbers. So, but, you know, who's to say I can't use it to fill up some water barrels and some water buckets up on our property there. I took it off of the pump and then let's just to see like the water pressure. See that's gravity feed, it, 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 see, higher you know obviously the water's not coming out but then as you go lower and that's that's nice pressure but if this was higher it'd be even better um, but maybe if you had a soaker hose but I don't I don't even think that would go all the way across the garden if I had a soaker hose attached to this 
or a drip irrigation and just did gravity feed only, it wouldn't go all the way to the end. It would probably stop maybe midway or even closer than that. Um, so I think definitely you probably need a pump for this type of setup. Our heritage turkeys have been doing pretty good. I mean, they look healthy. They are definitely afraid of me. I, they want to go the furthest back of the coop whenever I come near them. I don't think I'm going to be putting these guys out on a netting because they are so afraid of me that if they escape, I don't think I'll ever get them back. Now these turkeys, they're more of a commercial breed turkey. They are getting big. I'm coming Zeke, you're next. Now these guys, they eat a lot. They eat a lot, they drink a lot. Before. It took them a little bit to grow up a little bit more before they started doing that, but they eat a lot. I also do give them grit. So feed, water. Hey Zeke. We just moved Zeke yesterday in a new spot. Takes some while to eat all those weeds. And then we're gonna move Elvira. Elvira! Your kids are out of control. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Somebody has to say it. It always feels like I'm the guy that owes the money. Come on. If you guys want more of a step-by-step -step video of how I built this tower, I'll leave the link right here. I did a video on it. And also you could find the plans, step-by-step -step plans available on our website at sowtheland.com. Thank you guys, and we'll see you guys on the next one.